What's going on guys? Today is Thursday, September 12, 2024. And we have 50 days before we launch the All Dreams platform to amateur athletes worldwide. Big 5-0, baby. Big 5-0. That's exciting. That's exciting. On a Thursday, the Bills play the Dolphins tonight, Thursday night. It's a big day. So, for the next 50 days, this is what I'm doing. Every single day before launch, I'm going to have a video right here of a young person that needs a dreamer's vault. And I found my first one, and it's this kid and his mother that's right here. The mother is hitting balls to the son. He's fielding them, throwing them back to the mom, and so on and so, so forth. I have not yet asked you guys or anyone that watches, do you know any amateur athletes, young athletes, or are you a parent of a young athlete and you have videos of your young athlete, you have aspirations for your young athlete, your young athlete also has aspirations to play varsity in high school, to play division one, division two, and the long shot dream of possibly going pro. If you have a young athlete that you are supporting right now, you need to go to dreamersvault.com and you need to sign up for our waiting list. We are going to do 60 beta testers, 60 beta testers on November 1st. And in order for you to be one of those beta testers, you need to sign up now, okay? If you know of an amateur athlete that has videos and they are looking to document their sports journey, share the link with them and tell them to sign up for dreamersvault.com because at some point we're going to not accept more beta testers. And when it goes out to the world, you don't want to be that person that's that doesn't know what to do. Okay. That doesn't know how to use the platform effectively. Okay. Our beta testers, we're walking them through the process and you get first crack at the dreamers vault. Okay. So 50 days until launch every single day, I'm going to highlight some young athlete that I find on Instagram right here. I'm going to highlight one young athlete in each of these for 50 days straight. And like I said, if you know a young athlete that has videos that is serious about their, their sports journey, if you're a parent, you could be an uncle, you could be a grandparent, sign up, dreamersvault.com, okay? And that's what I have today. Uh, regular day, Thursday, work, you feel me? So everyone, have a great day. Support the youth, support the youth. 50 days until launch. Let's go, baby, let's go. I feel like I got like a year, a year's worth of things to, to tell you. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you know, like, because so, you know, I've been, I've been back, I've been back in Columbia since July. Mm. So for, so every single day. So it's been, so today is 50 days. I decided to do this countdown at 94 days. So I've been doing this countdown every single day for 44 days now where I go on, where I go on camera on YouTube and I just talk about all dreams and where we're at with it, you know, in this whole, you know, in this whole process. <clears throat> when we had that conversation with a couple of, a couple of your people, remember, I remember specifically is one, one, one lady. She was like, uh, she had three phones. Remember? She's like, I have three phones of footage and we don't even use these phones, but we don't want to get, a, get rid of the phones because we have videos of, of the, of the kids in the phones. 
So as I continued to talk to more customers, that's what I was seeing. P people had like all these videos, whether they was in, in the camera roll, whether they was wherever, they had videos that they needed to, to be in one dedicated place. You so right. you, so that that to, that to me was the main product. Right. So, um, this is good stuff, man. I'm telling you, you know, you done package this shit up well too. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, and you know, I, you know, you know what I got my hands on with all these kids and families and teams and stuff over here. We're just perfect that you kind of you know that you kind of call today because, man, we can we can get right back on it. And um, and 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 start doing customer discovery interviews. You can you know you can you know reach out to people. You have the landing page, and we can we can get right back on it. This is going to be like really really big, man. Let me say this. Let me say this, let me say this to you, man. Yeah. Okay. I like your product. I like what you're doing, but I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I even mess with you like that. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That that that, that means that mean that means more than the product and everything, bro. Like for real, for real. Yeah, I believe in you. Yes, I believe in you. And it's just a, it's just a matter of time. And you know, like this call wasn't coincidental. You know, like you said, I called you on the fiftieth day. How the <laughs> hell I know what the fiftieth day? And you know, your perseverance. You showed me through your actions, right? And when I see niggas, when I see you know, niggas grind and brothers, especially young brothers, and I and I'm gonna continue to say that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna always ride. Try to ride with them, you know, as long as it makes dollars and cents. You know? For sure, for sure, for sure. So, mm -hmm. so nah. that's where we at. Yeah, man, that's yo, that's that's what's up, man. Um, what you what you actually can 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 do for me is if if you can if you can make a a list of people, um, and then just give a warm introduction. And just say, hey, you know, we, I'm working, I'm working on this thing, and uh, we, we, you know, we want to know how your, your, your you know, what you, gotta, you know what you gotta get, you know what you gotta get, and, and I like how you brag on with it, but man, you need to get to like, a, if you can, you know, like a, um, like a, a white girl that's a good salesman that understand this product, like somebody that can sell, you know what I mean, like, you know, cause see, you do the product. But, you know, like some, you know, your strength is not selling it. You know what I mean? Because you know the value of what you got. So you're coming from a genuine place, but sometimes the salesmanship is what get that shit done. That's why a lot of people hire reps and shit to, to go and do that shit because that's what they're doing. See, if they, if, if they don't make that happen, they don't eat. All right. So... All right, let's. So I want I want to do the details. I want to do the details. I want to do the details because I was in Atlanta. Let's see. So this was the last time I had communication with Bo was June twelfth. Ironically, it is September twelfth. Unbelievable. He calls on the fifty is the the fifty days to launch. This is this is not um, by accident, okay? The last day, the la like the last time I talked to him was June twelfth. So June twelfth, July twelfth. It's one month. August twelfth, two months. September twelfth. Three months, three months, and I was in Atlanta because I was going to the Tech Stars event because I wanted to show my face. I wanted to meet people so I can try to get into the Tech Stars event. And while I was in Atlanta, I was trying to meet with Bo, and he wanted. I wasn't driving. And he wanted me to come to where he was at. And I'm like, yo, I'm not driving. He didn't come. We didn't meet. We haven't talked since. Uh, today he calls me. I was upstairs. And um, I didn't answer. And uh, when I got to the office, I called him back. So he called and so we, we talked. 
So I was giving them a, pro, a, a, a progress report of what's going on. I mean, three months in the startup, shit. I, like, literally, we could have got on a call and I could have been like, yo, this company is dead. I'm doing something else. You know, you don't know or whatever. And just a little bit of backstory, all of this documented, of course. I met Bo in, I believe, April. No, it was March. It's March of 2024. Through a friend of mine's, Bo is a big influence, a basketball influence in the Atlanta area, and um, he said he wanted to be on board. <clears throat> and I made he's a former basketball player, thirteen years, uh, Europe, uh, uh, made the Hawks team for a little while, Atlanta Hawks team, and. Um, Great guy. Really, really great guy. So, I told him about the product. I told him about All Dreams, and he was like, yo, I love this. I love, I love, which, I love All Dreams. And uh, I was like, yo, man, like, let me show you. What I did is I went on my own. I left here. Left here. I made him... Be- Two dream boxes for his academy and for his personal career and made him a, a vault because he was sending me videos and things like that. And uh, I went to Atlanta and brought him these things. I invested my time, my money, everything into making this for 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 Bo. We have these meetings. And again, I have to say, he's a great guy. Like, he's a great guy. When we have the meetings, you know, I want to be on board because initially, when, you know, as we're talking, he's like, yo, man, I got people, this, this, and that. You know, I got, you know, I, I've trained nine NBA pros, like 200 overseas pros, 500 D1 players or whatever. So his network is huge. He's a, he, like, he is Atlanta basketball, known so well. Uh, so I'm like, man, this could be a great opportunity to partner up. Now, uh, I get to Atlanta, we meet. Before I leave, I bring them the boxes, all documented. But one of the meetings we have, he's like, yo, I want to be in this company. And I say, all right, well, we need money to get the app developed. And even the first conversation I asked him for, like, yo, like if you want to invest in it, he said, I can't invest in it because I have these... I can't invest money in it because I have this, these things going on. Uh, fast forward. I'm in Atlanta. This is March. He says, I want to be a part of this company. I say, all right, well, what do you want? He says, I want 20%. <laughs> so, yeah, I cannot give you 20% of this company. Like, this company, you know, like... So we made a, 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 another a, a, another agreement vesting these things that he had to do, but it was not 20%, nowhere near 20%. Uh, vesting, he had to do these things in the contract. Now, again, I fast forward. So that was March. I think we did the contract maybe in April. Uh Fast forward, I come, you know, I, you know, I come down. So, you know, to Atlanta again in June, we never met. Now I don't hear from him for three months. And none of the things in the contract has been, you know, in the contract, the vested contract has been done in exchange for the equity. So we just have this conversation and I don't know what to make of this conversation. Honestly, I don't know what to make of this conversation. I really appreciate that he that he that he says he believes in me. I really appreciate that. You know, uh, I really appreciate that he's been praying for me because we all need prayers. You know, I really appreciate that. Now, business wise, I don't know how, where we go or move forward, especially in the first conversation we have, and he's telling me you need to get a salesperson, and you're not a salesperson. So. You're telling me what I'm not. That's not what I what I need to hear. 
And we have a completely different product. We do not have dream boxes right now. We do not have merch as far as that athletes can sell. We don't have the wristbands and we don't have the note cards. And this is the life of a founder in a startup. Because these are decisions that need to be made and I just don't know how we move forward business wise with so much time that has passed and also so much progress and so much risk that me and my other team members have taken in the last three months. And I'll leave that there. <laughs>